Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. It's day three of our prayer and fasting journey. And I believe that you are equally excited as I am. I I believe you have expectations, Charlie. This is a good time to have expectation, encounters, experiences, breakthrough, healing. We can make all the, I mean, let's have all the expectations that we so desire at this time. Because I think it's a good atmosphere. It's day three, and today we'll be looking at Abraham and covenant encounters. And um, I believe that the Lord will speak to us through his word. Let us share a word of prayer. Our Lord and Master, we thank you so much for today. We thank you, Lord, for day three of our prayer and fasting moment. Father, Lord, we pray that, Lord, you will speak to us, O God. Teach us your word, O God. Let it encourage us. Let it strengthen us, O God. Let it even move and pull us closer to you, O God Almighty. We thank you and we bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. All right. So as I said, we'll be we'll be looking at um, Abraham and covenant encounters today on our day three. And our scripture is taken from Genesis 17, verse 1 to 8. And we read about Abraham's encounter with God, through which God made a covenant with him. In this chapter, the Bible says that Abraham was 99 years when the Lord actually appeared to him. And uh, however, um, Abraham was 75 years when he established his first covenant with God, which is recorded in Genesis chapter 12. And so although uh, many at the time lived a long life, Uh, we still recognize that Abraham actually encountered God in his old age. Yeah, that's actually a fact. But this was in a time also when a man of old had great strength to do exploits and have traveled even thousands of kilometers on foot. And so, yes, we cannot compare 75 years at the time to now. Yeah. And so in our dispensation, God is ready to have an encounter with us at this time of our lives. When there is still strength and energy to do more for him. Because if you look at the time of Abraham, he was 75, he was 99, encountering God, having experiences with God. But he could do so much because there was strength at the time. And in our dispensation, when you are 75 years or 99 years and you're already feeble and, and all your strength is gone. This is actually the time for us to avail ourselves to God. And allow him to use us, open up ourselves to have an encounter with him. And so I want to encourage us that we should be willing and open up for an encounter with God. Now at this time of of our lives, all the question is that do you want to wait until you are old when you do not have any strength anymore? Okay. But this is not the time. I mean, that would, be, would not be the right time. The time is now. The time is now because this is the time we have strength. I therefore encourage you to make the choice now and open up your spirit for an encounter with God. And so just as our uh, Pastor Ish- Ishaku, uh, the artist of our theme song, uh, I Desire, says, he says, and let there be no time the Lord comes and you are not ready for him. Okay, and so I encourage you today that may you be ready at all times, at all times, at all times to experience and have an encounter with God Almighty. Amen. Again, from the scriptures, the Lord said to Abraham, walk before me and be blameless. And so just as the Lord expected this from Abraham, know that he expects same from you. Okay. If you want to experience God and have encounters with him, you need to walk a blameless life. If you want to have a continuous encounter with God and not a one-time experience, then you need to walk like God is expecting from us before the Lord Almighty, before the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, and be blameless. Okay, It is in our walk of of, um, of no evil our work of no sin that is when god can come to us because as we already are aware god is without sin so when there is no sin in us and we are blameless god can come to us at all times at any time and have communion with us all right and so let's no one or let none of us be found 
being evil or let no evil be found among us. Let us work diligently with the Lord and be blameless before him. Just as God expected Abraham to be blameless. Amen. Again, uh, we read also that God made a covenant with Abraham when he appeared to him. And so for us, Jesus Christ is the, new, is the mediator of the new covenant. Hence, every experience we have with God now is an encounter within the confines of what Jesus Christ has done for us. Okay, And so through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, we have a better covenant. All right, Hebrews 8, 6 says that, but now he has obtained the more excellent ministry in as much as he is also a mediator of a better covenant which was established on a better promises. Okay, God made several promises to Abraham. He made several, several beautiful promises to Abraham. But the new covenant which Jesus has established for us, we have a better promise of a new heart, a new spirit, and true holiness. Okay, those are the promises that we can find in the new covenant that Jesus Christ has established for us. And so I pray that in those 21 days of fasting, you will have an open mind, an open heart. Be ready to have an encounter with God. Be ready to have an experience that you've never experienced before. Open up your spirit, open up your hearts, open up your mind, open up your being, okay? Take advantage of this moment and and have an experience of a lifetime. Have an encounter with God and be blameless as God expects us to be, okay? And so I pray that God will give us strength. He will grant us the grace. He will have mercy on us even in our time of weakness. And he will strengthen us. He will perfect us even in our imperfection so that we will not miss any opportunity that comes, that will come to us. And whenever he comes to us with an experience and an encounter, we'll be ready for him. Our spirit will be ready for him. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Thanksgiving. Amen.